eventually every year you're going to lose guys, and uh, that's the, I guess, uh, overriding factor with college baseball is unfortunately you get a lot of good players and they eventually have to leave, whether it be through pro baseball or just graduation. Um, so no matter what season you're going into, um, you know, 99% of the time you're going to be replacing key guys. Uh, we feel like we've got a lot of a lot of guys that are capable of doing it. Um, it's just a matter of, of getting those guys prepared and getting them ready to step in those roles. But there's no question that, uh, you know, you'd feel more comfortable with guys like Birdie and Duncan, those guys coming back. But that's just the way things go. And uh, we, we feel that we have more than enough talent um, to maybe not step in and, you know, it's not easy to replace guys like that. But collectively as a group, I think we have a chance to, to still have a pretty productive offense. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Pitts is obviously one of the best hitters in the conference. I think there's no question about that. Um, last year, uh, you know, he, he battled some injuries coming back off Tommy John. Um, you know, didn't really feel comfortable, I think, up at the plate until, you know, towards the, towards the later end of the season. Um, he's really been fantastic all throughout the fall and, uh, you know, going through our individual drills. Um, done a great job, you know. We expect him to be, you know, somewhere in the middle of the lineup, you know, whether it be that two, three, four spot. Um, and, and he really looks like he's ready to have a, a productive junior season for us. Uh, you know, we had a lot of those uh, freshmen from last year that are now sophomores. They got a ton of playing time last year. We expect those guys to step up and step into major roles in the lineup. Uh, you know, guys like Andrew Kabuski, Alex Davison, Pat Lancaster, Logan Walker, Brandon Howard. Um, I may be forgetting a couple guys, but those are all guys that played T.J. Lowsby, Jeremy Shea. You know, those guys all played productive roles last year as freshmen. We expect them to come in and, and continue, you know, to improve and, and be ready to fill those spots of the guys we talked about. Um, and then, your, you know, the last part of the question, adding a guy like Tyler Wynn, um, he's proven that he can produce at the college level before, which is, which is big for a, a team that, you know, maybe we don't have a lot of guys that have shown that at this point. Uh, you know, he's really been productive from the, the first day he's come in. Uh, he works very hard. He's fit in great with the guys. Um, we expect him to come in and contribute. You know, we don't want to put too much on him, uh, but his job is just to come in and play his game. He brings a lot to the table um, in terms of, you know, just speed, power. Uh, you know, he gets on base, those type of things. We're just looking for him to come in and just play his game, and we think that he can be a big part of the line. Yeah, I mean, I think I think last year was there was a valid um, point of being young just because we had so many freshmen uh, in the lineup on any given day. Usually, you know, we had at least four, but most likely five, and sometimes six freshmen playing um, in our starting lineup. Uh, this year, I think with, with those freshmen now being sophomores, you know, I think that there is some freshmen that are going to be competing for, for playing time, obviously with Brian B. and Jesse Rate. Um, but those guys have shown no fear of jumping to the college level. So uh, we expect, you know, our guys to come in and compete. I, I think the juniors and seniors have done a great job of, uh, you know, preparing the team this year, working hard, pushing each other. And, uh, you know, I, technically on paper we are young, but I expect our team to kind of make that jump uh, similar to what the 2000 team did where we had a lot of sophomores that came back as juniors and, and really contributed as well as the freshman class that jumped in with guys like Derek Spencer, Logan Measler, Ryan Shea led the way. It's kind of those last group of championships we had. Um, we expect the same thing out of, of kind of this group of guys here. So we're excited about the season. We really think that, you know, offensively we should be able to be a pretty productive offense.